वेलकम टू अकाची स्पार्क एंड डेटा ब्रिक्स स्ट्रीम प्रोसेसिंग इन लेक हाउस लेट सी वॉट यू विल लर्न इन दिस कोर्स सो इन दिस कोर्स यू विल लर्न स्पार्क स्ट्रक्चर स्ट्रीमिंग वी विल स्टार्ट विद द स्पार्क स्ट्रक्चर स्ट्रीमिंग विल स्टार्ट विद द वेरी बेसिक वेरी सिंपल थिंग्स एंड विल टेक यू टू द एडवांस लेवल द गोल इज टू हेल्प यू अंडरस्टैंड स्पार्क स्ट्रक्चर स्ट्रीमिंग फ्रॉम द बिगिनिंग टिल द एंड to the advanced level you will learn everything that you should be learning about the spark structured streaming and next we will also help you learn kafka just enough kafka for data engineers as a data engineer what you want to learn and what you should know about the kafka we will cover that we will start from the basic introduction to kafka and take you to the decent level of uh, kafka knowledge and we will help you learn what kafka is and how much you should know as a data engineer what is the role of the kafka in a data engineering platform in the lake house in the medallion architecture we will cover all that then we will also help you understand integrating kafka with the spark structured streaming so kafka is an excellent data integration tool and spark structured streaming is a top class data processing tool for uh, streaming requirements for near real time and in some cases for real time stream processing requirements so we'll learn how kafka can integrate with spark uh, structured streaming kafka as a source and kafka as a sink we will learn how to integrate those things and then you will also learn how to work with the databricks platform will give you basics of databricks platform and you will learn how to work with the databricks platform how to use databricks platform for your lake house implementation how do you design lake house uh, in databricks platform and how do you develop your stream processing applications in the databricks lake house platform so we will cover that we will also help you understand how to implement a unified application to run as a stream or to execute it as a batch processing job so spark structured streaming is excellent it's it's top notch to help you uh, create unified application and once that application is created you can execute them as a batch or as a stream without making any single line of change so that capability we will explore and we will learn how to implement that we will learn the mechanics of implementing that uh, situation so we will cover that and then we will also learn how to mix in batch processing and stream processing together in a large project in a typical large project you may have a requirement where few things you want to do as a streaming process right as a continuous stream uh, but few other things you want to do as a batch processing because your requirement is like that right so how to do that how to mix in batch processing and stream processing we will learn that also and next Uh, item that you will learn is a lot of best practices throughout the course i'll keep on highlighting a lot of best practices for spark structured streaming for kafka for data breaks and not even streaming but also how you implement uh, best practices for your batch processing job so throughout the course you will keep on learning a lot of best practices for your uh, project then we will help you understand uh, and implement automation testing for your lake house projects so in this course it's full of uh, examples and coding and hands on driven course so throughout the course whatever examples and uh, scenarios we are handling we are developing in this course every example comes with a test case and test suit for that example so from the beginning till the end everything comes with a test case or test suit implementation so you will continuously keep on learning how to write test cases for different different scenarios how to test different things and how to automate your uh, unit testing and integration testing you will continuously keep on learning and that's an essential part of any good project right and then we will also help you learn uh, azure devops we will help you uh, understand some basics of azure devops and how do you implement ci cd pipelines for your project right so by the end of the project by the end of this course you will be able to learn uh, ci cd implementation and automating your continuous integration and continuous deployment and we'll help you learn the basics of uh, azure devops how ci cd implementation works and we will actually implement a working ci cd pipeline for a capstone project or for a lake house project and at the end you will also get a end to end capstone project so we will take up a requirement 
and we will start uh, analyzing that requirement we will go through the different phases of design discussion and design decisions will completely design the entire lake house platform medallion architecture and fit our requirement into that architecture will uh, completely go through each and every aspect of a complete project development through this capstone project and at the end we will implement integration testing unit testing automate all that part and we will also build a complete working ci cd pipeline for that project using azure devops and uh, in the databricks platform so a lot is there for you to learn, a massive course, and I can't wait to see you in the course, right? So what are you waiting for? Get started, enroll now, and I'll see you in the course. Keep learning and keep growing.